Alright guys, uh, today I'm going to be unboxing the Noctua NHD14 cooler. Okay, so as you can see, here is the box here. It is rather large. Um, let's do a little iPhone comparison. Okay, that's how big the iPhone is compared to the box. Okay, so first thing we want to do, we want to learn a little about this product. So let's have a look and see what the package says. Okay. So we have six heat pipe dual radiator, uh, dual fan configuration, component cooling, and a pretty good mounting system, hopefully by a secure firm. Okay, what else? Okay, we can see our design there. Okay, you can see a little bit of information on the back. Some instructions in various language, and uh, yeah, what's on the top? Okay, we have some specifications, that's always good. One second. Okay. Heat sink. Okay, we've got dimensions there. We've got the weight, 900 grams. Oh, I doubt that. Okay, we can actually see the socket compatibility there. So, 1366, first generation i7s. Uh, come on, focus, damn it. Uh, camera does not like to focus. Okay, 1156 for i5s and i7s once again, LG i775, uh, AM2, AM2 Plus and AM3 AMD sockets. Okay, we can see our fan speeds there and our airflow, our noise, our expected life, yada yada, that's pretty much about the fans. Okay, so let's just actually get on to unboxing this thing. have no idea what's gonna happen but yeah okay apparently we have some stuff in this we'll get back to that later I really want to see the cooler and I'm sure you do too that's why you are watching this video I can actually get it out of the box okay there's another box we've got a lot of packaging protected during transit that's always good to know okay what else do we have here we have another layer on the bottom once again, protect it during transit. The cooler itself, and what's left in here is it a, it's another layer. So, guaranteed this is not really going to get damaged during transport. Okay, so we're done with the box now. That's the video, see you later. Bye. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, okay, let's see how I can get this thing open, okay? Ooh. What's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh damn. That's actually not as heavy as I thought. That is very good. Okay, first things first, the colour theme, blah. And I'm sure you'll all agree, but this is high performance. So let's actually not damage my iPhone while we're comparing size. Okay, so regular iPhone 3GS the size of this. First things first, the greatest thing I found about this these fans are adjustable by these little clip-ons that go into the little plates there you can see okay so you're actually able to take these fans off and move them higher or lower because with this you can obviously clearly see that's going to that's going to cover every your RAM on your motherboard so you have the option to make it higher of course uh, so you can have perfect RAM clearance okay so we have some advertisements we actually have the front the front fan here is a 120 mil and in the middle is 140 now we can see on the bottom the nice plate it's nice and shiny okay We'll get to the we'll get to the components in a minute. We're just having a look at this. Okay, so we can see. I can actually grab this out somehow. Uh, uh. All right, so we got. It's pretty much with this. It comes with two fan cables, and they can be plugged into a mini adapter, and then go into one fan. So we can see there. Actually, just let me pop this down. We have two three pins, as you can see here, and they're in there in the adapter kit. There's um, 
a two connector and then it goes into one so I can just plug into your normal fan header on the board okay well that's pretty much showing this off let's actually see what we get in terms of accessories so I'm pretty sure it'll be all in here I can actually get this open and we have a lot of stuff let me actually pick this up okay so we have a little allen key here it's good for helping you install first thing that came out and you heard drop on the floor and then we have our intel set of mounting gear all included you can see in there brackets and etc our AMD set of little brackets pretty sure that's not all that AMD get but whatever and we here have our common parts so we got our resistor in there we got our thermal paste, screws, it comes with everything you need, you don't even have to buy thermal paste unless you really really want to get some uh, top performing stuff. So in here we can see our two fan connector into one, so it can just plug straight into your board. Pretty much that's all to show, you get all the fancy stuff in there. So pretty much that's our AMD and Intel set, depending on what socket you are using, um, what type of CPU you are using. And here, we have a nice little flip-out guide. We have our AMD here, and our Intel here. So if we were just to grab one out, and have a look at it, we can see it is a full installation guide for helping to install your new CPU cooler. So that's pretty good so far. That's, that's the Intel one. Let's have a look at what the AMD one is. It comes with a this looks like it's come kind of like nice attention to detail. It's even come with a little fold out book. You can just have both in there and it's all good. Okay, so there's our AMD. If you're installing onto an AMD chipset. Okay, nice little flip out book. Okay, so I think that's pretty much covered. So we've got our got our gear here as you can see on the table. We've got our Intel set, common parts. Set and Allen key and manual guide, and that seems to be pretty much it in terms of components. Now we can just have a look at the cool again. So that's how it would sit on your motherboard. Oops, that's actually the camera back up. That's how it would sit on your motherboard, facing that way. Of course, you can see that the 120 and 140 mil fans do not have the best color theme, but uh, let's actually have a look at how simple it is to remove one of the fans. Uh, I'm not actually sure myself, so I'll just have a look. Okay, so you can see that. You pull it back, and then pull it up, and then put it back down on both sides, and then you can move it either up or down, and it will it will just latch onto the fins up here, as you can see up there. Okay, so we can do that on both fans because you will need to take the middle fan out in order to screw down the cooler as you can see there so so you know how to actually remove it so just pull and lift up and then just lift the fan out okay so that's pretty much it for my Noctua unboxing thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more and uh, make sure you do subscribe uh, this is my main channel here where I unbox parts and on my secondary channel Jacob's PC Stuff 2 is where you can find uh, regular vlogs I do um, with all my friends and all by myself or whoever I'm with at the time and something fun happens so uh, yeah go check that out too if you like uh, youtube.com slash Jacobs PC stuff 2 uh, the letter the number 2 sorry uh, yeah thanks for watching